Hi folks, you find me here in Douglas in the Isle of Man at the moment, but I'm heading home today. And the first sector of that journey home is the shortest flight offered by any low cost airline. And that's from here in the Isle of Man to Belfast International. But just to get to the airport, we've got a unique journey for you. Where else in the world can you get a steam train as an airport transfer? Well, I'm about to take one. Let's go. These days, the steam train only runs between Douglas and Port Erin, but the airport sits conveniently on the route. This is the this is the guards box wagon compartment. Compartment. Yeah. Ah, oh, you're a legend. Thanks so much, mate. Ronald's way help. Ronald's way. Oh, cheers. All right. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Well, as I call it, Ronald's way International Transport Interchange. <laughs> it's really loosely based on skateboard. You'll see when you get there. <laughs> I believe you. Right, not only is that me now on the steam train, but the very kind conductor has opened the guards compartment for me. So I've got this little space all to myself and it's got wheels and stuff, but maybe I shouldn't touch that. Now, it was a wee bit of a rush to get here and do all my intros and stuff like that. So to the two people that I just met on the train who use this service to get their shopping at Tesco, hi, I'm sorry, I didn't ask your names. I was in such a rush. Man, this is so cool, the best airport transfer I've ever been on. If you can suggest a better one, let me know in the comments. Oh, the steam. I don't even know if my face is covered in soot, but it certainly feels like it is. Just pulling away now from the first stop on this route and on that subject there's a real bonus to this journey because I thought I was going to have to get off at Castletown and then walk about 20 minutes to the airport but the conductor was telling me that you can actually request a stop at the airport and I have requested it and that means we'll be getting off right at the terminal. How cool is that?
This station's called Balasala, love that name, and that means the next stop is the airport. back on and a final check that I've got all my stuff because the next stop is ours and it's in about one minute. Cheers, bye bye. Cheers. So there's something I'd researched but I had no idea because when I was reading online, everyone was saying don't get the steam train to the airport because you'll have such a long walk. But no, just request a stop at Ronald's Way and you are five minutes maximum from the terminal. Oh, it's a wild old afternoon, I hope the flights are okay. But if everything goes to plan, my route home to Scotland will be Isle of Man to Belfast, Belfast to Edinburgh. And like I say, that sector from the Isle of Man to Belfast is the shortest flight you can take using a low-cost carrier. It beats the route from Isle of Man to Liverpool by a few short miles. My first impressions of Ronald's Way were of a lovely, small, relaxed airport. Well, that was until I went through security to Airside, where a few delayed flights were really taking their toll in this tiny departure area. Oh, I tell you what, it's nice to get some fresh air after that terminal. Thank you. 
Now I won't bore you too much with the flight as I'm pretty sure we've all had the pleasure of flights like this. And somehow I'd booked a seat in the crash with the child behind me kicking my seat all the way across to Belfast. Oh I'm glad this is their shortest route. I think it's fair to say if this flight wasn't over water it wouldn't exist at all. We were on board this aircraft for a little over 1 hour and 20 minutes, spending only 25% of that time actually in the air. Most of the waiting was done on arrival in Belfast where it seemed like they were totally unaware that we were coming at all based on the time it took them to get steps to our plane. And that's the reason of course why flying is so exhausting. I think I'll leave things there, I've got one flight left and a long drive before I get home but I don't think you need to see that and you don't need to see this face anymore so thanks for watching today folks, I'll see you soon, bye bye. As you can see here, our shortest flight didn't even take the most direct route, so it could have been even quicker. But I learned a lesson today to always keep the camera rolling, as the sector from Belfast to Edinburgh was the one that I really should have filmed, as it included my first ever go-around. Oh well, even my phone ran out of battery when I tried to capture it at the last moment. Okay.